All right, so we continue from where we stopped from the first tutorial. So we are trying to perform linear regression in a data set uh, this way. So we have TV, radio, newspaper, and then we have sales. So the idea behind this is that we are trying to see how TV, newspaper, and radio affect sales. So basically, we have a company that is placing some adverts in different channels like TV, newspaper, and radio, and, and, radio, and then they see how it affects the sales. Uh, let me uh, reduce the volume of these songs. All right, so we've succeeded in doing the pair plots and this is what is shown here. So we completed step five, if you can't remember. So step six, we now want to extract the features. So we want to extract the features. What it means is that we want to separate the features. The features refers to these three items, TV, radio and newspaper, they are more like the independent variables. So we have the cells is the dependent variables. So in machine learning language, we call it the features. Instead of saying independent variables, we say features. And the cells, we call it the output variable, the target variable, or the result, or the response as well. All right, so what we are going to do next is to, let's see, we done a pair plot, extract the features. All right, so let's see how to do this. We are going to start by specifying uh, features. So features, yeah, feature columns should be a, a TV, radio, and newspaper. These are the feature columns. So. Each time you are trying to place item in a collection, always place in square brackets. So we have TV, and the next one is radio, and the next one is what? Is newspaper, you guessed right. So this makes up the feature columns, all right? So I'm going to click on run. Okay, everything went fine. The next thing I'm going to say is that X will now be uh, data from these columns. I hope you understand. So we are defining that these columns of data are the feature columns we want to use to form a new data set X. So in the second line, we are saying that data set X is a subset of our data. Remember, data contains everything. So, but now we are taking from data, we are taking these three columns. So I could actually have done it in one single line, but I'm going to do it in, in, in two lines. So uh, we have an errors. X is equal to, it says, either Boolean or fancy integer. Okay, newspaper, you can see this newspaper. All right, so I'm going to run and I'm going to run again. All right, if I also say X equals, now I'm going to put everything in line. So I'm going to say, um, TV, radio, and newspaper. So I'm going to put one more abrasive to surround it. So this is the same, this line is exactly the same with these two lines. So, and that is fine. All right, so now let's see what is contained in X. So I told you about a function that is X.head. So dot head displays the first five items in the data set. So let's see what is an X, X.head. I could actually say X, just X, and then run. Oh, oh, so remember we need to put data here. So that is where the problem is coming from. So I'm going to run this and I'm going to run this. 
So X contains only the features of the independent variables, TV, radio, and newspaper, and that is just fine. All right. So let's see where we are in this. In the you know in the, in the extract the features we've done it, and also have we examined X? Yes, we've examined X. So we've also uh, done this. So the next thing I'm going to do is to extract the output variable Y and also examine it. So in this, I can trust that you can do it. So what I can simply do is to copy is to copy this and then use it. But let's write it out. So the more we write, the more we get used to it. So what I'm going to do at this time, I can just say y equal to data um, extracting sales, just the sales column, and that is fine. So if I run, it's fine. So if I say Y and click on run, it displays only the Y values, right? Okay, so fine. So we have X and we have Y. So let's see where we are. We almost done. So we extracted y into y and we have x as well so we are done with this we've examined y to see how it looks like so we are going to now import the library we are going to use to split because we actually want to split the data into test data site and training data site so to do that i'll say from sklearn sklearn is a machine learning um, a library in python that you can use for splitting your data into into test data and training data from sk uh, model selection imports train test split right so this is what we are going to use so now i'm going to split this data and i will allow the system to decide how to split this data how many data goes to the training data site and how many data, how many, what quantity of data goes to the test data site? And let's see how it does it. Normally, it's going to not divide it, it's not going to divide it equally. X test. So, X train, X test, right? Y train, Y test. So we have this uh, X train as uh, X uh, training data and also the Y training data, X test data and the Y test data. So we are going to split it by calling train test split, test split, and then we are going to split X, Y, and we are going to split them randomly to allow it it to decide state equals one so run so let's see where we are so we've imported this library for splitting we've split it so let's now see how the splitting went so if I say X uh, just permit me to say print x train all right so let's see what x training data set looks like so it says 150 rows and three columns now i'm going to look at oh what is this so i'm going to look at the y training data set So I'm going to print y train dot shape. Let's see how it looks like. I'm going to run and it says 150 as well for y training data set. So at this time I'm going to look at x test data to see how it looks like x test. And now I expect it to be just a uh, Okay, so permit me to say that shape dot shape 
I expect it to be only 50. So you have 50 rows and three columns, all right. So I'm going to perform linear regression. So I'm going to also import a library for linear regression. So let's move down to this cell. Okay, so to do that, so the library for linear regression is simply linear regression and it's available from model import. linear regression all right so now comes we are going to perform linear regression and to do that simply define a linear regression variable i'm going to call it lean reg equal to linear regression Remember, the problem of linear regression is to find the coefficients. So this is fine. And I'm going to say feet x train y train. So we are plotting x training data against y training data. And we are fitting a, a, a regression line through. So I'm going to run. I'm going to move down. I'm going to run it. Okay, so everything went fine. So keep in mind that the focus is to find the intercept and the, the slope. So we're actually looking for beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, the coefficient of x1, x2, and x3. And this time is the coefficient of TV radio and newspaper so i'm going to say print let's see what it have for the intercept line reg intercept so if you want this whole notebook i can send it across to you just uh, let me know in the comment box below so this is how to find to show the intercept uh, to, the, to be displayed okay lean reg intercept the intercept, no, I think it's actually linreg dot intercept. So this is the intercept two point eight seven uh, eight seven nine six six. So I can also just say for the next one, print linreg dot coefficients. So these are the coefficients. Permit me to get back to PowerPoint and I'm going to write the equation of this line for you so that you can see how it actually works. So let's write the equation now and you appreciate exactly what is happening. So I'm going to take a writing material. So, it's, um, so I think I can get it from insert. Pain, yeah, pain, good. So let me use this. So we have a slope. Remember we say y is equal to beta 1, beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus beta 3 x3. Let me take a lighter thing. So the equation based on what we have is equal to y is equal to beta 0 is the, is the, is the, is the slope sorry, the intercept, which is beta zero we mentioned. So the intercept is 2.8, 2.8, let's call it 2.88 plus beta one, which is in this, in our data set, it corresponds to TV. So it corresponds to X corresponds to TV, X one corresponds to TV and we have beta one, to be what? To be 0 0.046. Let's call it 0 0.05. So 0 0.05 TV plus. The next nice one is 0 0.18. 0 0.18 radio. Let's call it RD plus what? 0 0.003. 0 0.003. 
uh, uh, and that to be newspaper. So I want you to see that this is how linear regression works in, in, in Python. And I'm going to stop here, but we are going to continue so that we actually take some final notes and uh, do a little clarification on this. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to click and subscribe if you've not subscribed and also leave a comment if you have any challenges following these lessons.